Hi, I'm James McAbee, and this is Victor Dury. And we are both consultants with iintech.com, and we're going to actually talk to you about gestures and how that's Nat kind of taken over UX. Sure, natural user interfaces. Uh, yeah, I mean, so gesture technology, you guys probably all know from the Kinect, uh, where essentially you have cameras that are looking at you and are essentially identifying the movements of your hands and then translating that into something that controls a computer or a game, you know, whatever it may be. Um, so, incredible technology is really started in the kind of gaming space, but it's really moving over to so many other things. Uh, a very uh, good example of how marketers are using this today is for trade shows and events and so on. You know, so there's uh, a flat screen that has a connect on top of it, and people can kind of interact through your products and kind of wave to move to the next page and things like that. And these kinds of experiences really just attract people to your booth and just people being around you get to talk to them and they're going to remember you after the booth because it was a great experience yeah. um, so so important foot uh, traffic especially exactly. it's so important at those events because yeah. you know you got people with iPads walking around and this is like the next wave of cool at these events and then if exactly. you really think about it like the movie Minority Report like that stuff is you know, they're moving stuff around on this screen that they're not touching, like that's actually starting to happen. Yeah, and sci-fi is yeah. now reality. <laughs> you know, I mean, even if you look at movies like Back to the Future, like there was sort of a very early version of Skype going on there, we're using Skype every day now. So, you know, there's a lot of cool things to see or trends, wait, you know, that even Hollywood was talking about, but these things are actually happening at events. It has a business as well, like to, to the Connect example, like you're gonna have to start to think, how does my website sound? How is my website supposed to move without a mouse interaction? What am I going to offer my customers to complete their tasks on my site? Right. And it's a complete different uh, review discussion when you're in that meeting room concerning a redesign, when you're really going for this type of technology. Sure. Um, it also presents itself um, you know, when people are designing certain products. For example, in the medical space, there's a lot of products that are using gesture technology as a doctor is kind of scrubbed in and they can't really touch anything because they're going to put their hands in you, um, you know, they're able to, you know, yeah. let's see the, the next page of the, you know, patient information or wherever it may be. So there's lots of other applications, you know, beyond kind of the marketing world and so on, uh, where these things are, are taking hold. And we just saw, actually, previous to uh, getting on camera here, we were just looking at a product called Leap, which uh, Very looks really cool. I mean, it looks like little size of an iPhone or iPod and it's in front of your monitor and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, was it eight square feet where it could pick up your, your yeah, gestures? That's right. And you're moving stuff around your monitor. Like, so I mean, if you're very, if you're kind of interested in how this would work or what you could do with it, I mean, it's kind of a baby step. It's like 75 bucks. Very, very cheap. You can kind of start, you know, developing your applications for it. So the, the big thing with it is you know, the Kinect is not so accurate at seeing your finger moving in a very small amount of space. Well, Leap is very, very accurate, 200 plus times more accurate than the Kinect. Um, so that, that, that's pretty incredible. When you can start seeing a finger movement that is that subtle. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the space is just in its infancy. And uh, right now it's time to get involved. Yeah. Exciting times. Not to jump back to movies, but we work with a lot of manufacturing clients. But can you imagine at an event? Having an Iron Man experience and moving your products around to demonstrate. Uh, that no would be no one take that idea. <laughs> but if you'd like to talk to us about it, we're at iintech.com. I'm James McAbee. And I'm Victor Dury. Thanks Thank for joining us.